It's fast time. What's that you say? It's fast time. I'm Sarah Fontana. My grandkids call me Sasa, so you can call me Sasa if you want. And I'm here for story time. So I'm going to read you a story, but first, I think everybody needs a hat. Go grab a hat. I got mine. Go grab a hat and get ready for story time. Welcome back. I like y'all's hats. That looks great. I'm going to read the story, Where Does God Live? And it's by Holly B. Illustrated by Kim Howard. What a great title. Where Does God Live? I've thought about that in my life. Where does God live? Does he live in heaven? Does he live in me? Does he live in the sea? Let's see what Holly B. has to say about that. Where Does God Live? by Holly B. Illustrated by Kim Howard. This is Hope. She's a lot like you. She loves her puppy and the color blue. She likes to laugh and play and sing, but asking questions is her favorite thing. Where does the sun go? Why does it rain? Why don't snowflakes all look the same? There were so many things Hope wanted to know, such as how many colors are in the rainbow? She'd asked her friends and her mom and dad, her grandmother Rose and her big brother Brad, the mailman, the grocer, and nice Mrs. Ying. She'd ask anyone about any old thing. One day, a new question popped into her head and she asked her mom, who was making the bed. Where does God live? Does God live nearby? Hope. God lives in heaven, way up in the sky. Now, Hope hadn't heard about heaven before, but she knew what she wanted, that she wanted to learn a lot more. So she went to the meadow to have a few words with sweet Mrs. Peep, her favorite bird. Have you ever seen heaven way up in the sky? Have you ever seen God when you fly far and high? I've seen clouds and stars and skies of blue, the moon and rainbows and lightning too. I've never seen heaven though, I've flown far and near, but the sky is so lovely, God has to live here. Hope thanked Mrs. Peep and went down to the stream to see Mr. Frog, who was chubby and green. Where does God live? She asked Mr. Frog. He looked up and smiled as he sat on his log. Look at the flowers, the wide open spaces, the trees and the butterflies, these beautiful places. To me, this is almost like heaven, you see. That's how I know that God lives here with me. All of a sudden and quick as a flash, Mrs. Fish jumped up high and came down with a splash. Oh no, that's not true. That can't really be. I know that God lives in the green stream here with me. This crystal blue water is lovely, I know. God lives here with me in the waters below. Hope thanked her friends and went on her way to hear what her grandmother might have to say. Her grandma was wise and her heart was very pure and she'd know the answer of that. Hope was sure. Does God live in heaven or down by the stream? Does God live in the water or is God a dream? Tell me, where does God live? I really must know. Oh, please, won't you tell me, my sweet Grandma Rose? Her grandmother smiled, as grandmothers can, and softly she reached out for Hope's little hand. I know you're confused and I'm glad that you came. Now listen real close and I'll try to explain. You know, God made everything seen and unseen, the wind and the sun and the meadow so green, flowers and stars and oceans of blue, trees, birds and rocks and all people too. And when God makes a person, a star or a wave, a part of God stays with whatever God's made. So God lives in the sky, in the meadow and stream. God lives everywhere and God isn't a dream. 
God lives in the frogs and the birds and in you. When you're looking for God, it's easy to do. God lives in all things that you see, hear, or touch. God lives in all people. God's in each one of us. And when you meet people who are loving and good, they're letting God out, just as everyone could. And if you meet people who seem hateful or bad, they've forgotten God's here, and that makes God sad. God is gentle and loving and cares for us all. God gives us the strength to get up when we fall. God is always around to help us find truth, whether we're old or still in our youth. God's your best friend, Hope. God really cares. So make sure every day to take time for your prayers. How should I pray, Grandma? What should I say? I want God to hear me. What's the best way? Her grandmother hugged her and said, Precious you, just speak from your heart, Hope. It's easy to do. Tell God your wishes, your fears, and your dreams. Then thank God for all of your favorite things. And ask God to guide you in all that you do. And be thankful for all of the love God sends you. Hope kissed Grandma Rose and went on her way. She had no more questions, at least for that day. And on her way home, she saw God in all things, in the clouds, in the flowers, and in nice Mrs. Yang. And later that night, when Hope went to bed, she closed her eyes slowly and bowed down her head. Dear God, thank you so much for this wonderful day. Thanks for the friends who showed me the way. Please help me tomorrow in all that I do. And don't forget, God, how much I love you. The end. Hey, wasn't that a great book? Where Does God Live? There were so many really good rhymings and ideas in it. What was your favorite part? Let me show you my favorite part. Mine was, and when God makes a person a star or a wave, a part of God stays with whatever God's made. That means that God's part of me, God's part of you. That's such a cool idea that we can, we can learn a lot from this book. And I like this part too. And when you meet people who are loving and good, they're letting God out, just as everyone could. So we can all let God out today. Find some ways to do that. And also, we have an activity that's going to be linked to this video, but also, uh, you can find it, Where Does God Live? Activity. And you can go to that and find a cool activity that you can be doing to remind you of this book. So glad that you are part of... Fast time!